Hello everyone, that manga kid here to talk about number six, which originally was a light novel series by Atsuko Asano. Um, the art for the manga was done by Hinoki Kino. This is a utopian society uh, sci-fi story about uh, Shion, who is this character here, who is also the white-haired character. Um, he's from a city called Number Six, which is the perfect ideal society. It is a walled-in city, um, so nobody can get into it without special permission. Um, but the people in the city are very elite. Basically, when he's a kid one day, uh, Shion saves this boy whose name is Rat um, by helping him, healing him. He was very injured. He happened to be a fugitive, and so Shion's family got, him and his mom got put into the lower level of number six um, class-wise. They, the, they were the super elite, and now they were put down into the less... Uh, lesser population of people for helping a fugitive. So this is the story about Shion kind of questioning his society and, and trying to figure out why he doesn't feel right about about number six when it's this supposedly perfect place to be. He ends up getting into more trouble and running off with Rat to the outskirts of the city uh, which is West Block. So he goes out of number six and into the story of him trying to get back into number six to save a friend um, who's in trouble. And also Rat's goal is to destroy number six because it is a terrible place with a lot of dirty secrets and violence and, and stuff that the citizens don't know about um, and are not allowed to question for in fear of being killed. Um, but that's something that's never spoken about. It does get very kind of gory and violent um, because it is because of the nature of the story. Um, at points, it kind of reminded me of Dead Man Wonderland, which I find really strange, but it did feel very similar at some points in this story. And that's not to say that this that that the series is in any way the same as Dead Man Wonderland, because it's not, but there were points where I was reminded of that feeling uh, while I was reading that series. But this story does have a shonen eye element to it. Um, Rat and Shion are uh, both boys who are interested in each other. Um, it's not heavy or anything like that. There's no sexual themes in this story. Um, it just so happens that these two like each other and they're both boys. Um, there's some really, really cute slice of life moments, and the art is really, really nice. I'm super impressed with the art and the detail put into it. Um, it's just really, really cool. And at the end of most of the volumes were some extra stories from the original novels that di just didn't make it into the actual story of the manga. Um, but they were able to put them in as little side stories at the end, which was really nice, because those were some of my favorite parts. Um, I'm trying to find Rat's home, because it is so cool. See, like, look at the city scape there. This artist is really, really talented. There we go, there's the books. Like, just the detail. There's so many different scenes where they're in Rat's home. Um, that are just so nice. So the art, absolutely do not have to worry about a decline in art from the anime to the manga because it's very similar and very, very detailed. Um, overall, this series is really good. Volume 7 and 8 got a little heavy on the sci-fi for me um, because my favorite part of this is the characters and how they interact with each other. And the sci-fi part got so heavy right in Volume 7 and 8 around the climax. But the final volume, volume 9, uh, really made up for it. It was an amazing ending, and I really, really love this series. And also, to my surprise, volume 8 has a ton of color pages at the end here. They're really, really nice um, that I had no idea were in there. They're just nice, glossy color pages as an extra bonus, which was really, really super cool. So... Overall, super impressed with this publication by Kodansha. 
Um, these are just standard size volumes. They're the matte finish ones and they are quite inexpensive to buy. So definitely recommend checking out number six if you like Shonen Eye series, if you are a sci-fi fan. Um, this is really cool. It gets a bit graphic in parts, um, you know, gore wise, but honestly, it's nothing that it's nothing too, too bad. Um, yeah, the characters are amazing. They all interact really well with each other and, and the story is quite well thought out and really, really cared about. You can tell that the author and the person who drew the manga are very, very passionate about this story, which is really nice as a reader because um, it gets you that much more into it. So yeah, definitely recommend checking out number six if you haven't already. Um, yeah, especially if you're looking for a complete series from start to finish, well told and just really fun. So if you've ever read this and want to chat about it in the comments, feel free. I'd love to talk about it. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching. See ya.